Well, I bring our uh, Washington reporter, Kevin Fry, into the conversation. And Kevin, the president used this occasion as an opportunity to make an argument for more federal spending on storm protection, on infrastructure. Uh, and that's an argument that actually goes well beyond just New York, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, certainly. Think of all the coastal communities up and down the East Coast, the West Coast. Uh, I'm thinking of the marshlands in Louisiana, the communities around Miami, for example. They all have concern about the ongoing issues of, of rising seas and climate change. So this does speak beyond just the core of New York. And of course, they are working on that infrastructure piece of legislation here in Washington. There's still, though, a couple steps to get that done, though they have the ambition of trying to wrap that up by the end of the month. We will see, though, but obviously he's speaking to a larger audience than just New York City dwellers uh, when he was speaking today. But what is the status of that infrastructure fight? I mean, does uh, Senator Schumer have the votes that he needs to pass the president's bill? They're, they're, they have, uh, you know, they have 50 Republicans and 50 Democrats. He can't afford to lose even one vote. Oh, right. I mean, it's a tired metaphor, but it really does apply, which is that he's going to be walking a bit of a tightrope over the next couple of weeks here in Washington, Senator Schumer, I mean, and also the White House to that point. I mean, so the, the infrastructure bill itself, that $1.3, $1.2 trillion piece of legislation, that's clear the Senate is waiting in the House. But some progressives don't want to take that up until they also get buy-in on that larger $3.5 trillion plan that includes uh, money for climate, a lot of human infrastructure, health care, education, and so forth. Those two have been kind of tied together. So the question is, can they get an agreement among, among the very diverse Democratic caucus to get both of those pieces of legislation done? Keep in mind, in the Senate alone, where Schumer has to keep everybody in line on, on the Democratic side of the aisle, you have Senator Joe Manchin coming out just within the last couple days saying he wants to hit the pause button on that $3.5 trillion dollar bill because of concerns over inflation and so forth and so that could spell a little bit of a quagmire for schumer we'll see what happens over the next couple of days as the senate returns to washington okay and now uh, gloria up in queens with